the worst shit I ever took in my life. Monday, December 13th, 2010, 7.53 a.m. A comedy and tragedy. I have to write this down before I forget. Sometimes life is full of shit and people start their day off on a shitty note. Here's what happened this morning. I arrived at work at 7.50 and turned on the lights, grabbed a book, and went straight into the bathroom to take a much-needed dump. I should have used the bathroom at home when I had the chance. I sit down, start reading, and take a dump. A couple minutes, minutes into it, I reach around and flush because I don't want the bowl to get too full. The toilet flushed and I read some more about the World War II airline wars. I hear the toilet is still running, which is odd, but for some reason my mind just ignored it. That was the first of many mistakes. A few seconds later, as I'm sitting there reading, I feel ice cold water touch the bottom of my ass and balls. I had to jump off the pot just as I was pinching off a loaf in mid squeeze. It was terrible. The toilet was about to overflow and I'm standing there bent over because if I stand up, the shit in my ass crack is going to make a yucky mess more than I wanted to handle at this point. The water crests the rim of the bowl and starts to overflow onto the floor. Great. Just great. I waddle to the back of the toilet and yank off the lid and grab the round plunger in there and pull it up, stopping the water flow, but shit filled water still seeps over the side. I have to move quicker, and I can't believe this awful predicament I've gotten myself into. I'm hardly even awake, for Christ's sake. I wonder if anyone else in the country is having the same problem as me as I worry about shit falling from my ass into my underwear and pants which are down below my knees. I use my left hand and start tugging at the toilet paper hanging on the wall, dropping the World War II book in the process as it splashes into the water, and that's when I realized that the housekeepers didn't secure the toilet paper roll on correctly. The entire roll slips off the holder and splashes into the inch of water on the bathroom floor and immediately absorbs the water and is ruined, leaving me with a 12-inch dry strip of toilet paper. Now the book was the least of my worries. I use my right hand to break off the rest of the dry paper and when I let go of the plunger in the back of the toilet, the water immediately starts flowing again and, of course, seeps over the top of the bowl again. I put the now 10 inches of toilet paper left to good use and had no choice but to throw it on the floor. I grab the plunger again and stop the water flow momentarily as my mind races and wonders why the friggin' thing won't stop. This is when I see the book start to float. Just super. Paper towels! I see a thin stack on top of the counter and let go of the plunger and waddled over to get them and then waddled back the whole time with the sewage waterfall continuing to flow over the toilet. Now I'm mad and I pull the plunger up again and stop the water, wondering if anyone else was going to show up for work at 8 o'clock. That would be just great because by now I know the water is meandering under the door and through the wall and into the hallway. Using one hand, I craftily wipe my ass, holding the thick stack of seafold towels in my mouth, and use the other to hold up the plunger. Just great. I actually used every towel and ran out and needed more, but there was none left. I was thinking of waddling out to the linen closet, but I had no idea who might come in the front door and see me bare-assed, wiping my ass in the hallway. In the old days, I could have gotten away with it. However... Now six other people have the key to the front door. I couldn't just stand there all morning, so I said, fuck it. And I flushed the toilet slowly until it started flowing and then backed up and I let it run its course. I quickly kicked off my left shoe and hopped backwards away from the rushing water and pulled off my sock and used it to finish the sorry wipe job and slipped my shoe back on as the water continued to back me up to the wall. At least I know now I was clean enough to pull my pants back up. I threw the sock down and buttoned up and walked through two inches of shit water to grab the bucket and mop in the supply closet. Just spectacular. I rolled the mop bucket into the bathroom as the toilet stops running and sits there empty with its gut spewed all over the men's bathroom floor. It smells just awesome. I survey the damaged scene and see the flotsam and jetsam everywhere. I see water everywhere from corner to corner a crumpled up filthy wad of water soaked toilet paper, a soggy, dirty, full roll of toilet paper completely absorbed with water 
and a white stained up sock resting in a pool of shitty shit water and someone's book floating face down and ruined, never to be read again. In a corner by the toilet sits a used up brown pile of the remnants of the stack of sea fold towels. It's like a fucking war zone. And now I have to call a medic to come clean it up. Just fucking superb. Whatever did I do to deserve all of this? I'd have much, been much happier if I just took the badly placed roll of toilet paper off the roll five minutes ago and walked outside into the woods and shit next to a tree like an animal. Holding it in all day would have been a better solution to this problem. Who wants to deal with this now? What a nightmare. I feel my cold, smelly, sockless foot inside my wet, clammy shoe and pull out the mop and start to soak up the two inches of water, thinking to myself, this was a shitty way to start off the work week. I don't deserve this this morning.